Well, I, I didn't think we played very smart in the first half, and a lot of that had to do with Kansas State. They, they had great pressure. They sped us up a little bit. We didn't execute the way we needed to in that first half. And then second half, I really thought the difference was going out in those first couple possessions and really establishing the, the offensive glass. And you know, Jawan Gary has such great instincts of knowing where the ball is coming off. You know, we got three, four shots on the rim in, in the first five minutes, uh, took a lead. And, you know, it's two games in a row now with Michigan State. I think it was the identical score at halftime coming out and, you know, really setting the tone with physicality in the second half. And then we were getting into our stuff better, and that's what that's where we were able to stretch the lead. We still didn't shoot it great, but, you know, when you defend like that at that high level, um, you know, when your shots aren't falling, that's a great sign. Usually, you know, human nature when the ball isn't going in the hoop is to let down on the other end. We had three big keys coming into this game. Number one was transition. They scored three points. Uh, those were all in the first half. Um, rebounding, they're 11th in the nation in offensive rebound percentage, and then taking care of the basketball. We weren't great. I think we had 14 uh, turnovers, but you know, for the most part, that's what they do. They pressure you. Uh, they try to speed you up, and, and you know, for the most part, those last 20 minutes were uh, you know were, were really fun for our team. I think they were one of their last 17. That one came on the inbounds play where we lost. Uh, Carter on the curl, but uh, just really proud of our guys for, you know, going out there and playing the right way. And, and uh, again, the physicality, that's exactly what we're going to need as we continue on the rest of the season. Well, you know, uh, first thing is getting back and forcing them into the half court. They're really good when they can get out and transition and score before you get set. So that was our biggest thing, and that was a big point of emphasis the last few days of practice was making sure we get back and load to the ball and not give them anything easy uh, coming down on the break. And once we got them in the half court, I thought we were really good at not letting them reject ball screens. That was another uh, big point of emphasis. They do such a good job of, uh, of getting around uh, with a reject with those guards. They're very quick. Uh, we didn't give them any lobs, uh, which was a big point of emphasis as well. But you know, just overall, I thought the attentiveness uh, I thought our guys played a really smart game on the defensive end, and uh, it, it was certainly something we can build on because we had a couple games we weren't very good on that end of the floor. So you know, offense was really good last game wasn't wasn't as good tonight, uh, but the defense certainly stepped up. Yeah, it, it was good to see Eli uh, hit a three for us. Uh, you know, just needed a guy to come out there and knock down a shot. That's exactly what he did. I thought Sam's defense was terrific. Carter's is a very difficult cover, especially when he hits early shots. He goes out and goes three for three from the three-point line when he gets it going and gets into a rhythm. Uh, he's a hard guy to turn off. But you know, I thought Sam got underneath him and climbed into him, uh, had some good switches. Um, you know, but uh, again, it just I thought the defensive pressure that we had in the second half and, and really sticking to our principles and following the game plan, th those were very important uh, when you're guarding really good guards uh, like Kansas State has. Well, I think I think the biggest thing that we've learned about our team in the last couple of games is that they've got really good resolve and they've got great character. When you get uh, when you get blown out at home by your rival in front of a great crowd, uh, you know that's tough to get over. And then we play our maybe as good a 20 minutes as we played all year, and then as poor a 20 minutes at Minnesota. Uh, but our guys didn't hang their heads. They came in, they wanted to get it reversed, and that's exactly what they've done these last few games. So there's a lot of things that we can learn uh, from these last few. But the thing that I, I, I think that we have found out about our group is it's not a group that's going to quit. It's not a group that's going to sit around and pout. Uh, if something bad happens to our team, uh, they're going to come back in and try to, try to reverse it. And, and that's the thing I'm really pleased with uh, these last two games is just how well our guys have gone out there and played together, and, and that's what we're going to have to continue to do. Yeah, I mean, it, this we all knew this was a big game to uh, uh, have an, another opportunity after not handling the road well at Minnesota to come in and. Uh, you know, find a way to gut out a big, a big win uh, to add to the resume, and that, that's that's what games like this are all about. 
Uh, now we got a tough game coming up on Wednesday, uh, you know, with a team that can really shoot the basketball, and it's a getaway game, so we can't overlook anything. We got to go out and have a good couple days of prep and practice and get ready to hopefully go out and finish well before our guys get a much deserved break. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, Jawan Rink, uh, you know, all those guys that were out there. Bryce got a couple of them. Uh, Casey tried, he chased them down, which he shouldn't have been doing. Uh, but yeah, overall, Jawan, when he gets those hustle plays, and I thought that's what we did, we, you know, not only on the glass, but I thought we got a lot of hustle plays on the other end. You know, the 50 50 battle is something that we talk about a lot. I thought we were first to the floor. Uh, you know, Sam had a couple diving out of bounds. Uh, Bryce had one where he dove on the floor. Josiah, as, as he always does, made a big hustle play for us. So, uh, you know, those plays are invaluable when you're trying to get the game established in your favor, and that's what our guys did. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's something that, you know, when you look at our defense, we try to always have somebody down there and try not to allow the ball to come back to the middle of the floor. And our guys have been very good as far as when to attack. If the ball is too far out, you don't want to get too much in rotation. But, you know, our, our guys, uh, for the most part, did a solid job of being there. And when they did drive at baseline, uh, you know, to have that help defender, uh, you know, underneath, uh, uh, really kind of trying to get out to the block. And I thought our hands were good. Our hands were active. Uh, you know, and again, that all led to that defensive effort in the second half. All right, guys, thanks.